Hello and welcome to the Every Other Saturday podcast YouTube channel for instant match reaction to Rangers 1 Celtic 0 um, on Old Firm Derby Day. A massive victory, uh, of course, but before we get into our thoughts about yeah. that, um, I just have to obviously tell you about the socials. Uh, they're in the description if you could uh, follow those and if you could like and subscribe to the channel, it would uh, be much appreciated. Um, and also, before we talk about the game, just. Um, Massive thoughts go out to obviously the families affected uh, by the Ibrox disaster, uh, a terrible tragedy and it's uh, RIP to the 66 um, who never made it home for that match. Man. <clears throat> um, so, <clears throat> on the note of the Old Firm Derby then, uh, how, how were your nerves looking into this one? Uh, not the best mate, stress eating, yeah, good I job I had these heroes mate. Scoffing uh, no, the Christmas chocolate came in. I uh, came in clutch today, by the way. Aye. <laughs> um, I was the exact same. I, I woke up today. I actually woke up uh, and thought I'd missed the game. Just one of the times I'm like, oh my god, what time's it? Aye. Thought, thought I'd missed the game. Um, but uh, here we are. Uh, nerves were shattered as soon as that ball was kicked. We did not start that game with the intent that we looked to to win it. Um, look, the first sort of. Three minutes, they were through on goal. Edward uh, forces a, a massive save for, for Al McGregor, who was just, what can you even say about him, heroic today. Uh, kept us in that first half, kept his level at half time. Uh, and for then on, we couldn't really get a foothold in the game at all. Like, it's just very unlike um, Rangers. I don't know if that was how Selic set up. I don't know if that was Rangers maybe playing poor, but couldn't keep a hold of the ball. They had numerous chances, you know, like, <clears throat> Um, McGregor had a good chance, kept on getting the ball away, and then obviously that one, uh, Griffiths, which is probably their closest attempt to the match, hits the post. But I mean, what a hand it is for Al McGregor to just move on to the post. 100%, my mate. Honestly, the first half was spineless, there was no desire, there was no guts. I was actually thinking about in the first half, mate, when it was depression hit. Um, <laughs> was thinking, but remember when we had midfielders who had boys like Barry Ferguson. And then also you text me saying Scotty Arfield was missing. I thought Scotty yeah, Arfield and Ryan Jack were 100% missing. Joe Aribo was awful the yeah, full yeah. game. Mm -hmm. I actually thought he scored a goal. Then you see it back. Comes after yeah, McGregor. Yeah, McGregor. Um, but no, first half was, I think we just owe everything to Alan McGregor, to be honest with you. Because if that was any other time period in the last couple of years, that would have been a good 5-6 first half. <laughs> exactly. You're, you're quite right. Obviously, with the way we've been watching old firms, let's face 2017 to about 2018, it's been like, we've been expecting absolute pumpings. So it's Aye. obviously it's, it's going to creep into your minds that look this could happen, but it wasn't to be. I thought Balogun and Golds in the day, even within that first half, were absolutely outstanding. The way they they <coughs> coped with all that pressure, uh, with them just peppering on there for the full uh, first 45 minutes, uh, was unbelievable. And obviously, you're going to have confidence with McGregor behind you as well to, to stop those so I thought aye, the, the two defenders were great first half as you say I thought Aribo was poor uh, really failed to step up to the mark in the first half uh, you were expecting so much of him to fill in that sort of way Scott Arfield does in these kind of games um, Kent again he was poor uh, in the first half uh, Morelos as well but we get in at half time now now look that was the main thing for that first half. You need to get in, get the team top done. You're still level. Games are to play for for both sides. Come out. Um, I was I was expecting uh, Yanis Aji to come on, but I wasn't expecting Kimar Roof. So I was very surprised at that. Uh, don't know about yourself. No, I was a bit shocked at that myself. Me also went to the toilet to uh, wash mm. myself. You know what I mean? Because honestly, I was sweat was going down as me. That yeah. first half was. Ah, it was. Uh, I didn't. I honestly, I was the same as you. I was a bit mind boggled why his roof came off. I thought he would have took Kent off, put Hadji on. Seems mm -hmm. like the hips got nothing he would do. But Hadji came on personally. I thought he'd change the game. To be nice. honest with you. But oh, mate, mate, he's too, he's too, too weak. He's, he's can't play Hadji. Got to protect him in these kind of games. Do you know what I mean? Comes on and he bosses it. Aye. Do you know what I mean? He's going in for tackles. He's going in for it all. Do you know Aye. what I mean? Unlike, uh, <clears throat> I would say Joe Aribo, um, Ryan Kent, sort of. Mm -hmm. bit too soft for my liking to be honest with you I thought a lot of them were hiding in that first half mate I thought the full backs get done in all in the first half quite a lot yeah, um, yeah I'll, I'll say that it's, I was thinking look, the way they're <clears> going to set up with that diamond in midfield is going to leave so much space for us to get up and down the wings I thought it, it plays into Kent 
uh, Bonner, Tav, even Roof when he's playing out there's hands. We're going to have a lot of chances down there. It didn't happen. The midfield was so congested. Uh, they had the four on three in there where we usually win that battle. Again, Aribo's like a, an empty jersey in that battle. So they, they had the, the beat in there um, in that first half. Uh, it was important to then go in the second half, change that sort of style. I think Haji, as you say, came on and just, he was unfairly left out of the day, but I think we all knew he wouldn't start. Uh, but Haji's got to be the main man going forward for me up there, I think. 100% uh, agree, mate. And it shows how he's... It shows how he's um, adapted to the Scottish game as well because he's he's coping with his physical battles week on week now. He's putting in a right good shift. Um, I'm just I'm so happy for him. Obviously, we've got a great player on our hands. It's nice to see him um, kicking on uh, as we as we hope to would. But I no identity in that first half whatsoever. weren't ourselves came out. Hadji comes on for Roof. Uh, the game sort of changed. First sort of fifteen minutes at that half. I mean, we were better, but we were still letting them far too many chances in their box and stuff. Um, and then just one pass, all, all it was needed. We weren't going up the park at all. One pass for James Tavernier, down the line to Alfredo Morelos, forces them to uh, get, a, get a red card beat on. Have you got any complaints with that red? No, whatsoever. It's a straight red, mate. No. Nah, straight all red. Long. All day long. And that's, um, that's all you really need to do. Their defence is really, really poor. You seen we attack it one time, they get a red card, they fall apart. Uh, for then, obviously, they bring on that excuse for a footballer, Shane Duffy. Um, uh, which yeah, I mean, listen, he should have been sent off himself, to be honest. It was a poor challenge, actually. Yeah, it was a poor challenge. Um, but for that point, I mean, they've got they've got the ten men. Duffy hasn't even had a park yet. We've got a, we've got a free kick. It gets lofted in. Hadji just misses a header. Goldson misses a header. I'm like, that was the opportunity. But we keep plodding away. Uh, we keep going. We get a corner, um, and and that's the all important one. I, I'll be a deflection, but you'll take any single one as they go in. I was just even they showed the back, mate, and Morelos was like at the the fat post, and it was. Ah, you know, you let like, oh, you let come on, please. I know, but uh, no, as long as the ball went in the net, that's the main thing. At the no, end of the day, hundred percent, hundred percent. And I that's that sort of changed the game. That red card, look, with. Plenty of opportunities um, to go up, um, make it two, three, but it, we just we held it well. I thought I thought the game management uh, uh, was very good, and uh, not committing too yeah. many bodies forward to then leave us exposed at the back. Because what they're going to do with ten men is they're going to sit and try and play in the counter, um, which we uh, we done very well to stop that. Um, I think. No, uh, I found I found obviously when. Everton went off, Everton kicked off, Morelos got himself yellow carded. Straight away for Gerard, he knew straight away get him off because he nah, knows aye. there's a chance of him getting a red. So good management in terms of nah, that aye. point of view. I thought Big Cedric came on, he was looked decent. Looks so exactly. he was unlucky a couple of times. Yeah, um, Cedric was unlucky with that sort of turning chance he had. If he just he was leaning back a bit too much, but another day could have been in the top corner, it was unlucky for him. I tell you something, Jack, I know somebody who'd have scored that. All right. Oh, right. This guy with a shameless, very shameless plug to the to the home team card. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I I agree with you. I'm I'm linking what I'm seeing to Cedric Keaton. It's all albeit um opportunities for the bench he's getting, but he's coming on, he's impressing, he's putting his name forward for a for a starting jersey anyway. Um I'm, I was impro- uh, impressed with him. Uh, but that scuffle, as you say, uh, Morelos uh, fortunate to only get a yellow, you know what I mean? Like it could have been any anything else. Uh, listen, look, else. fighting for the team. I like it. I like it for Fredo. He knows what he's doing. Do you know what I mean? He's up for a scrap. I like that about Fredo. I, I like it, it as well. But do you not see if you watch that back? It's like Duffy makes a challenge. So yellow card all day long. He walks back, and it's Ayer who actually ignites the whole thing. He uh, pushes aye. Kamara, and then that Aribo comes in. And Scott okay. Brown's only purpose of this game apparently was to get Morelos sent off because he was right at him uh, every single time he had the ball and and in that opportunity as well. So, I I thought they they did break up uh, the park a couple of times. Had El Yunusi up the park, but nothing really came to anything. Uh, they'd won also in the last minute as well. We were like, oh my god, please no. Uh, it's Edward, uh, good defending for Connor Goldson mm-hmm. today. I thought Connor Goldson, <clears throat> absolutely. I said that to you. I said that when we were. Reviewing who should probably start the game. I no, said the two of them together, man, they're solid. Do you know what I mean? They've got a 
understanding each other. Do you know what I mean? That, I that's what I was a bit frightened of. Uh, right, I think he knew with Holanda, like, as I say, Bamboo and Ice, he's got a slip up in him. Yeah, with somebody like Griffiths and Edward, they're going to eventually get him. Do you know what I mean? Aye. I mean, you've seen how good their link up can be. Uh, just in a blink of an eye, I remember they had the one in the second half where Griffiths just uh, flicks it on to Edward and he's in right. goal. They are dangerous up there. And it's a massive, um, it's a massive three points. It's a massive victory. The uh, Baragin rights again in Glasgow for us. Um, albeit all you're probably going to see in the media is how how well Celtic played and how we were lucky. But I, I personally yeah, don't see it that way. Time, you can you can have you can do what you want with the ball. Do you know what I mean? But see if the ball's not in the back of the net, it does not matter. Do you're do you know absolutely I mean? right. Celtic like dominated the game. Who gives? Do you know what I mean? At the end of the day, we won the game. Do exactly. You know I mean? Dominate all you want. I, I, I want to ask you, Hangway, what was your thoughts on the referee today? I thought he was a bit too happy to blow that whistle too many times for me personally. Aye, it was, kind of game it was, do you know what I mean? Aye, sometimes you're obviously wanting confidence for your referee to go and let things play out, but it seemed like just the slightest wee thing. He was blowing the whistle. Blow the whistle. Uh, is Mali a sorrow, for instance? Look, in that first half, you made about five or six fouls. It, it took him that one on Barisic to actually get booked. I mean, he should have been booked... Uh, Far uh, back, like third challenge, even had you know. What I mean, Morelos was lucky as well in that first half. We have East Stamp on Frimpong, he got away with one as well. So, I must say, Frimpong bossed Barisic today. See, Frimpong, Barisic, exactly. Frimpong, by the way, he's dangerous going forward. I feel he's 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 end products poor, but he is dangerous. Um, I mean, he's got that pace. I uh, they uh, Top of it, Tumble, or whatever his name he, he looked like a decent player as well. Which is, nah, yeah, I quite rate right. Tumble actually. He's a good player. I was happy to see him go off. Uh, well, 100%, mate. But it's only good for terms of for Scotland in the summer that you have more people <clears throat> challenging for spaces, you know what I mean, in terms yeah, of the team. That's it. That's it. Um, and that's all I can really recall for it happening. Like, we defended well after we scored, which was important. 1 0 wins are the ones that go a long way to. The end of the season, obviously, that's two mm-hmm. in two weeks. Uh, Hibs last week was one we grinded out, this one uh, we grinded out as well. So, it shows to me personally look, if we go to Aberdeen, we go and win again. This shows the team has turned a corner for last season, the season before, that we can go to an old firm game, win it, and move on like it's just a normal game. So, massive, massive three points today. Selic, they were desperate to win, but that's all you see. <clears throat> pressure's all on them. The media are talking about how selling it to win this game or they're going to be 19 points adrift. They are 19 points adrift. How do they How do they come back for that? Do you see any way back for Celtic? For Celtic? I, listen, I don't expect... I don't know why they're going to Dubai. I don't, as you said, mate, I don't know if that's... I mean, I I, I've not heard anything about that, so I'm not going to go look at it. They were talking about it at the end of the game, or that, that Celtic are away to Dubai the night or what have you. Yeah, I don't expect... Listen, the awesome. only games I think, for Celtic that are going to be... I'd say that, but they get beat off here. I was going in that, didn't they? So I don't know. I just think it's only going to be the old firm game. So I think if there's any one that could slip up, I think it's probably more likely us. I know the big games coming up. From, well, about a massive game for me, anyways. The the Hibs game away. That is a massive game. Um, in terms no. of if we can we can actually do this. Um, but uh, I'd, I'd say I don't want to row MDR because there's still a lot of football. Exactly. Play, mate, there's man. there's a lot of games to be played. I think it's what 19 or 20 games still left in the season. So we're just over halfway. We've got to this point looking very, very strong. Only four points dropped, obviously. Um, the, the hard work continues every single week. We've not got a midweek game this week, but uh, Pitodri next uh, Sunday. So that's going to be that's going to be telling on if this team is capable of going making that extra step to get another three points after an old firm victory. So um, that's pretty much all I've got to say. Have you got anything else for us? I um, obviously it's a giant transfer window, Jack. This man's free um, <laughs> if you need him. What course? Unlike Hill Dame in the first half, I'll run about the park. I'll play for the jersey. I'll bust a gut. They've they done as uh, proud on the second half, I must admit. Like, the, the first half was uh, an absolute sh- shadow of ourselves. Second half, fourth half. You're going to say, I came on, mate. Aye. I'm telling you. Aye, boy, done well. Boy, should be playing these games. Not all protect him because he's a wee baby. Do you know what I mean? Boy's a footballer, he can handle himself. Aye. Do you know what I mean? He, he's watched his dad play probably. A more violent tie in terms of Gal Tassarai and all that, do you know yeah, what I mean? Aye. Over there, so nah. Man in the match, mate, has got to be Al McGregor in it. <clears throat> yeah, aye, of course, Al McGregor, man in the match, but talking about that sort of second half performance, I think you can give a good sort of 
uh, uh, well done to Stephen Davis and Glenn Kamara. They they did fight for every single ball. They didn't let Celtic oh, through whatsoever. <clears throat> the defence as well, I thought, was very good. First half, it's a write-off, but the second half is where it mattered. We get the goal, right. yeah, we get out, we get the three points, and, and we but move as on. As I say, as I say all the time with these games, mate, it doesn't matter form coming in or how you play. Do you know what I mean? As we say, Celtic dominated with possession and what have you. End of the day, it's about the result. And Rangers in the second half grinded it out and they got the win. Do you know what I mean? That's the main thing, mate. Yeah, that's what yeah. I take away from it. That is 100% the main thing, mate. And uh, that's, that's, as I said, that's all I've got to really say. Um, it's, we'll enjoy this now. Uh, oh, we'll enjoy it, mate. We've got, we've got a week to enjoy it before we play Aberdeen. It'll be good to see the yeah. meltdown happening on the other side of Glasgow. But for now, Glasgow is indeed blue. So... Um, our socials are in the description uh, as well so if you could follow there it would be much appreciated and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content coming soon but uh, aye, that's us I'll see you later